Yata Yahua Elohanu Malek Halim. Blessed are you, Yahweh Elohim, creator of the universe. <coughs> oh, Boker Tov, good morning. Zawada Abba, Toda Abba for this day. It is a day that you have made. I will rejoice and esteem you in it and do your will and be glad. Shema Yisrael, Yahuwah our Elohim, Yahuwah is Echad. And you shall love Yahuwah your Elohim with all your heart and with all your being and with all your might. <clears throat> and these words which I am commanding you today shall be in your heart, and you shall impress them upon your children, and shall speak of them when you sit in your house, and when you walk by the way, when you lie down and when you rise up. And shall bind them as a sign on your hand, and they shall be as frontlets between your eyes. And you shall write them on the doorposts of your house and on your gates. So how do we shema? That was Deuteronomy 6, 4 through 9. How do we shema? How do we hear and obey? Matthew 19, oh, no, that's not the right one. Oh, yes, Matthew 19, 18 through 21. <coughs> you shall not murder, this is what Messiah said. You shall not commit adultery, you shall not steal, you shall not bear false witness. Lie about what somebody else did. Respect your father and your mother, and you shall love your neighbor as yourself. Then, if you desire to be perfect, go and sell what you have, give to the poor, and you shall have treasure in the Shamaim, and come follow me. That is how we Shema the Torah, the laws given by our Creator, according to His Word, the Son, Messiah. Alright. <clears throat> Psalms 95. Let us sing to Yahuwah. Let us rise a shout to the rock of our deliverance. Let us come before his face with thanksgiving. Let us rise a shout to him in song. For Yahuwah is a great El great sovereign above all mighty ones, in whose hand are the depths of the earth. The mountain peaks are his also. His is the sea for he made it, and his hands formed the dry land. Come let us bow down and bend low. Let us kneel before Yahuwah our Maker, for he is our Elohim, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Today, if you would hear his voice. Do not harden your hearts as in Meribah.
And as in the day of Mesa in the wilderness, when your fathers tried me, have proved me, thought they saw my work, though they saw my work. For 40 years I was grieved with that generation and said they are a people who go astray in their hearts. They do not know my ways. As I swore in my wrath, if they enter into my rest. Well, it's interesting that that one fell on today. Tomorrow's the Sabbath. All right. So that was Psalms 95. Matthew 26, and it came to be when Messiah, Yahushua, Emmanuel, ended all these words that he said to his taught ones, <clears throat> you know that after two days the Passover takes place, and the son of Adam, Adam is to be delivered up, to be impaled. Then the chief priests and the scribes and the elders of the people came together at the court of the high priest, who was called Kepha, and plotted to seize Messiah by trickery and kill him. But they said, Not at the festival, lest there be an uproar among, among the people. Watch out now. Today is the 4th of July, what America calls its Independence Day. Or not today, but to, what, tomorrow? Let's see. I don't even know. Yeah. <laughs> Watch out now. This was, in, this was the real Independence Day, Passover. The day when people were set free from their bondage, from the slavery of the ones who were walking in wickedness. Okay. So, there was no bad thing that was going to be done to the Hebrews when they crossed over. They were crossing over with their almighty creator. <clears throat> and when Messiah was in Baeth and Yah, at the house of Shimeon, the leper, a woman came to him having an alabaster flask of costly perfume, and she poured it on his head as he sat at the table. And when his taught ones saw it, they were much displeased, saying, To what purpose is this waste? For the perfume could have been sold for much and given to the poor. However, when Messiah, Emmanuel, Yahushua, noticed it, he said to them, Why do you trouble the woman? For she has done a good work towards me. For you always have the poor with you, but me you do not always. You do not have always. For in pouring this perfume on my body, she did it for my burial. Truly I say to you, Wherever this good news is proclaimed in the world, that this woman has, what this woman has done shall be spoken of also to her remembrance. Then one of the twelve called Jehuda from Korioth and went to the chief of priests and said, What would you give me to deliver him to you? And they counted him, to him thirty pieces of silver. And from then he was seeking an occasion to deliver him up. And on the first day of unleavened bread, the taught ones came to him, came to the Messiah, saying to him, Do you desire us to prepare for you to eat the Passover? And he said, Go into the city to a certain man and say to him, the Messiah says, My time is near. I am to observe the Passover at your house. 
with my taught ones. And the taught ones did as Messiah had ordered them and prepared the Passover. And when evening came, he sat down with the twelve, and while they were eating, he said, Truly I say to you, one of you shall deliver me up. And they were deeply grieved and began to say to him, each of them, Master, is it I? And he answering said, He who has dipped his hand with me in the dish, he shall deliver me up. Indeed, the son of Adam goes as it has been written concerning him. But woe to that man whom the son of Adam is delivering up. It would have been good for that man if he had not been born. Mm. And Yehuda, he who delivered him up, answering, said, Rabbi, is it I? He said to him, You have said it. And as they were eating, Messiah took bread, and having baruched it, broke and gave it to the taught ones and said, Take, eat, this is my body. And taking up the cup, he gave thanks, and he gave it to them, saying, Drink from it, all of you, for this is my blood, that of the renewed covenant which is shed for many for the forgiveness of sins. But I say to you, I shall certainly not drink of this fruit of the vine from now on till the day when I drink it anew with you in the reign of my Abba, my father. And having sung a song, they went out to the Mount of Olives. Then Messiah said to them, All of you shall stumble in me this night, for it is written, it has been written, I shall strike the shepherd, and sh the sheep of the flock shall be scattered. But after I have been raised, I shall go before you to Gilal. And Kepha answering him said, Even if all stumble in you, I shall never stumble. And he said to him, Messiah said to him, Truly, I say to you, this night before the cock crows, you shall deny me three times. Kepha said to him, Even if I die with you, I shall not deny you. All the taught ones said the same. The Messiah came with them to a place called Gishiman, Gishimin, and said to the taught ones, Sit here while I go there and pray. And he took with them, and he took with him Kepha and the two sons of Zebdai, Zebdai, and he began to be grieved and deeply distressed. Then he said to them, My being is exceedingly grieved even unto death. Stay here and watch with me. And going forward a little, he fell on his face and prayed, saying, O oh, my Abba, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me. Yet, not as I desire, but as you desire, and he came to the taught ones and found them asleep and said to Kepha, So, were you not able to watch with me one hour? Watch and pray lest you enter into trial. The spirit indeed is eager, but the flesh is weak. Again he went away a second time and prayed, O oh my Abba, if it is impossible for this to pass unless I drink it let your desire be done 
And he came and found them asleep again, for their eyes were heavy. And he left them, and he went away again, and prayed the third time, saying the same words. Then he came to his taught ones and said to them, Still sleeping and taking rest, See, the hour has come near, and the son of Adam is delivered up into the hands of sinners. Rise, let us go. See, he who delivers me up has come near. And while he was still speaking, see, Yehuda, one of the twelve, with a large crowd of swords and clubs, came from the chief priests, and elders of the people. And he who was delivering him up gave them a sign, saying, Whomever I kiss, it is he, seize him. And going straight up to Messiah, he said, Greetings, Rabbi, and kissed him. And Messiah said to him, Friend, why have you come? Then they came and laid hands on Messiah and seized him. And look, one of those with Messiah put his hand out and drew his sword, and striking the servant of the high priest, he cut off his ear. Then Messiah said to him, Return your sword to its place, for all who take the sword shall die by the sword. Or do you think that I am not able to pray to my Abba now? And he shall provide me with more than twelve legions of messengers. How then would the scriptures be filled that it has to be this way? In that hour, Messiah said to the crowds, Have you come out? You have come out as against a robber with swords and clubs to arrest me. Daily I sat with you, teaching in the set-apart place, and you did not seize me. But all this came to be so that the scripture of the prophets might be filled. Then all of the taught ones left him and fled. And those who had seized Messiah led him away to Caipha, the high priest, where the scribes and elders were gathered together. But Kepha followed him at a distance to the courtyard of the high priest, and he went in and sat with the servants to see the end. And the chief priests and the elders and all the council were seeking false witness against Messiah to put him to death, but found no one. <clears throat> Although many false witnesses came forward, they found none. But at last two false witnesses came forward and said, This one said, I am able to destroy the dwelling place of Elohim and to build it in three days. And the high priest stood up and said to him, Have you no answer to make? What do these witnesses against you? What do these witness against you? Messiah remained silent. So the high priest said to him, I put you to oath by the living Elohim that you say to us, if you are Messiah, the son of Elohim. And he said to them, Messiah said to them, you have said it. Besides, I say to you, from now you shall see the son of Adam sitting at the right hand of the power and coming in the clouds of the Shamaim. Then the high priest tore his garment, saying, He has blasphemed. Why do we need any more witnesses? See, now you have heard his blasphemy. What do you think? And they answering said, He is liable to death. 
Then they spat in his face and beat him, and others slapped him, saying, Prophecy to us, Messiah, who is the one who struck you? And Kepha sat outside in the courtyard, and a servant girl came to him, saying, And you were with Messiah of Gilal. But he denied it before them all, saying, I do not know what you say. And as he was going out to the porch, another girl saw him and said to those there, And this one was with Messiah of Nazareth. But again he denied with an oath, I do not know the man. And after a while, those who stood by him came and came to him and said to Kepha, Truly, you are one of them too, for even your speech gives you away. Then he began to curse and to swear, saying, I do not know the man. And immediately a cock crowed. And Kepha remembered the word of Messiah, who had said to him, Before a cock crows, you shall deny me three times. And going out, he wept bitterly. Thank you, Abba, for your word according to Matthew 26. These are the words of the Messiah and the witness of what happened. Abba, I lift my hands to you as a sacrifice. I ask that these words from your scriptures that you gave man to write, even in his being misled and astray, you can still guide our hearts to know what the truth is in them. I lift my hands as a sacrifice and bow my heart. Our Abba, who is in the Shamayim, Set apart is your name. Your reign come, your will and desire be done, and earth be done now as it is in the Shamaim. Give us today our daily portion, and forgive us our sins, debts, trespasses, and whatever, as we forgive those who are sin, trespass, and indebted to us. And lead us not into trial or the hands of Messah or temptation, but deliver us from the evil and the adversary, the enemy. For yours is the reign and the power and the esteem eternal. And this is how your son instructed us to pray. Word to the Father through the Son, so my words be washed clean to reach the Shamaim. And may all Shema his word and love him with all their heart with all their being and with all their strength and with all their mind and their neighbor as themselves so that the most high creator of all things will baruch them with his shalom and his agape